I remember Paul Sykes coming through the ranks before he fought my best friend John L. Gardner. Paul Sykes was notorious outside the ring and John L. Gardner was notorious inside the ring. John just overwhelmed him and he was far too good for him and Paul knew John wasn't going to give up, so he decided he'd had enough and that's why he turned his back. John trained for the Paul Sykes fight like you'd never seen and I knew as good as a fighter as Sykes was, he wasn't going to be able to keep up with John L that night and that's pretty much how it turned out. In the dressing room with John before the fight with Sykes John turned to me and said I'm gonna really do some damage here I'm well up for this fella. Paul Sykes had his moments in the fight with John and John had to take some pretty heavy shots from Paul. I think Paul Sykes misread John L. Gardner and he thought it was going to be easy. From what I heard Sykes never trained properly and wasn't 100% whereas my mate John was more than 100%, wanted it more and showed more courage than Paul did on the night. Paul Sykes was a great boxing warrior and he was as good as any challenger could be for the British title. If he'd have faced any other heavyweight that was around at the time, then he'd have been a champion. It's just a shame he ran into my mate John L. Gardner. Paul Sykes was a dangerous fight to take on and for very little reward because he wasn't a champion, but on his day, he was capable of beating a lot of British heavyweights in my opinion.